How's it made? What on earth would we do without good old marker pens? They're invaluable for making colourful artwork and highlighting what's important. But how are they made? Step one. The outside parts of the pen are the barrel and the lid and are the first parts to be made in a process called injection moulding. Granules of coloured plastic are melted down to make a big sticky soupy mix. Step two. The molten plastic is pushed into the required shapes using high-powered hydraulic presses. Each press has the same force as over 300 elephants. Step three. As they cool, the barrel and lids harden. The barrels are lined up on a conveyor belt and a spongy ink cartridge is pushed inside by a robotic arm. An end cap is also pushed in and the marker pen is ready for its ink. Step four. The ink is mixed to exacting standards. Every batch must be the same colour and have the same consistency, neither too runny nor too thick. A chemical called a humectant is added to prevent the ink drying out too quickly. Step five. Tiny needles inject the correct amount of ink into each pen and the ink cartridge soaks it all up. Step six. Finally, the nib, which is moulded and baked into the correct shape, is attached and the lid put on. Again, they use a conveyor belt to move the pens along and robotic arms push all the parts together. It's funny to think that marker pens have been around for less than a hundred years. Before that, if you wanted colourful inks, you'd have to get your fountain pen out, or even a paint set. Now, I must get on, but come back soon and find out more about manufacturing with my splendid stipendiary compendium. How's it made? With support from the Royal Commission for the 1851 Exhibition. Find out more at funkidslive.com.